All right, guys, I'm going to finish telling you about what happened in Genesis. Uh, the last part of Genesis, I think what I was reading with you guys was about when um, Pharaoh had the dream and he wanted to know what was going to happen about the thin cows and the fatted, the fatted calves, the fatted cows. So Joseph was able to tell him his dream and he put Joseph over all he had. And um, that's how Joseph got out of jail. Remember, he went to jail before because he was in charge of things. But the wife said that Joseph tried to rape her. Then he went to jail. Then he got out of jail uh, because the baker that was there, he told that Joseph could interpret the dreams. So now Joseph was over all of Pharaoh's house and everything, right? So, and Pharaoh loved him very much. He was second in command. Then um, there became a famine in the land, just like he said. And he had started telling them when it was plenty to put a fifth of all of their reserves to the side. So when the famine came, they had plenty saved up and they were able to eat and live and survive. And so his brothers all of his 12 brothers and his father name was Jacob which his name changed to Israel they were out in a far land living somewhere but they had nothing to eat and Israel told his sons saddle up the horses and go into the city where Pharaoh was because he heard that there was food there he said go there and bring back something for us to eat out here because they was like like out in the desert area somewhere so the brothers went on out and um when they got there they had to go to the king quarters now joseph was older but he was in command so he didn't let on that 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 he was the youngest brother he didn't let them know that what had happened to him he kind of kept himself covered his face covered and he talked to them he said where is your father and they said, why are you asking about our father? So our father is at home. We traveled here to try to get something to eat. So they said, we have the bounty to pay you for the food, for the weed and the flour and all of that. And he said, I don't want the, I don't want your money. He said, come and eat with me dinner, you know, since you came thus far. So they prepared the quarters, the table and everything. And all of his brothers ate with him. And he was asking questions about the father. And so um, he told them, you can't have any. He said, I will give you what you need, but go back and bring your father. I'd like to meet him. And they kept asking, why did he want to meet our father? You know, why did he want to meet our father? So they went back to get uh, the father to bring him back, back to Pharaoh's place so they could meet Joseph. And when they went to go out, they had money and food and all kind of stuff tied to their horses. And the brothers were saying, should we go take this back? Because they're going to think we stole this or we took this, you know. So they went, I think they went back and they said, uh, I, I'm not for sure if they went back and told them that they had the stuff tied or they went on. I know that they did bring the father back. I could read it to you, but I'm trying to get summarize you here. They went back, they brought the father back. And they told the father that when we got ready to come here to get you, because he insisted that we bring you back, that there were goods tied to our horses already. There was money and everything that he said to bring you back. So the father got ready. He went all the way to where Pharaoh was to see the uh, young general in command, which was his son, Joseph, that he thought was dead, right? And so when the father got there, they prepared the dinner, and the father went and the brothers went. And um, Joseph was being real mean to them, you know, and all of the servants was was like, why are you so hostile to these people, you know? So he stopped being mean and had, he had to reveal, God made him reveal who he was to them. And they were stunned. They said, well, we thought you were dead. And so um, when he seen his father, he hugged them. And everything and his father was so happy he was crying he said oh this is such a blessing he said now I'm getting oh I must be ready to die because 
I see my son, my baby son. And not long after that, he actually did pass away. Israel died. And he had the 12 sons. His sons are the 12 tribes of Israel. The 12 tribes of the nation of Israel was Israel's sons, was Jacob, whose name turned to Israel. Now Esau is still alive and has sons too, but Jacob's sons are the 12 tribes of Israel. Now the Edomites are Esau's son. So there's two nations of people that are against each other by two brothers. Now what happens is... um. What happens is Joseph get very old and um, they start having babies. They start having babies. The, the uh, women of, of Israel start having a lot of children. And so Pharaoh starts saying that when these children are born, kill the males that's coming out of the womb because he don't want them to multiply. He don't want the Israelites to keep multiplying and uh, overtake them because they were the Egyptian. They don't, they wanted them. They wanted to stay in control. And they said, this nation of people that keep having babies, there will be so many of them. They will overtake us, and we won't have any control anymore. There'll be so many Israelites. So um, they started killing all the male babies that came out of the womb. But this one baby that came out, I don't know if it was Joseph's son. Jo Joseph children didn't get killed, but the baby came out of the womb was Moses. Moses came out, was born by a midwife, I believe, and the midwife said, I don't want my son to be killed. So she put her son in a basket and let him float down the Nile. When he got down there, Pharaoh's wife found him, and uh, I believe somebody in Pharaoh's wife's house or somebody, but he was raised up. In Pharaoh's house, because his baby floated down there, somebody found the baby. One of the servants that worked for, um, I think her name Zathara, Zafari, or something like that, Pharaoh's wife. And uh, anyway, the baby growed up and became a young man, strong and beautiful, and he had a dark skin color. He was, um, it was Moses. He was out there tending to the sheep and taking care of the land and doing all the different things like that. But he was a strong, you know, they were, they were slaves, the Israelites. He was a strong one. So they said, we're going to put him in charge. He's going to be a commander over them. So Moses was in command. Uh, Joseph was still in the uh, house being, you know, under authority or whatever. But Joseph passed away. And Joseph said, uh, the children of Israel, all of his brothers and everything, he said, God has promised us a special place, and we must sojourn there. And um, I'm going to have to read the end of it to you. But somehow Moses became in control of everything. Uh, I, I believe Moses killed. He was, he was a slave, and he killed one, he killed one of the uh, generals of Pharaoh because he was talking rough, and he was roughing up one of the slave workers, an older guy. Moses got rid of him, and then he ran away. But somehow he was found, and uh, some sheep herder her, and they and they daughters found him, and they nurtured him back to life. And God told him, I want you to lead the nation of Israel out of Egypt from being slaves. And so he, he considered it uh, 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 honor because God had saved him because somehow he had ran away. Didn't have nothing to eat. He was out in the wilderness land and just laid up there. And those women came and found him, nurtured him back to health. But anyway, that's the end of what I got to tell you about Genesis. So one of the babies that was born during the time when Moses was in effect, one of the Israelite babies, because the handmaidens was having babies, one of those babies was Moses. And floated up on the water and raised up by in Pharaoh's house. And um, the handmaiden that had him, she breastfed him, but it was her baby. But uh, she was breastfeeding Pharaoh's wife, son, too. But she's breastfeeding her own baby. Isn't that something? So anyway, the Ten Commandments comes on tonight, 7 o'clock. I think it comes on ABC or NBC, but it comes on at 7 o'clock. Don't miss it. It comes on every year. 
uh, just before Easter, so it'll be on tonight. And I don't know if they're going to start with Moses or they're going to start with Joseph. But this is the point that was so important to me. When you got Joseph got old and he got ready to die in the house of Pharaoh, he said, he said, uh, he said to the children of Israel, he said, I don't care what you do. The Lord has promised. Right yeah, here. you can you can have that. Right he said, I don't care what you do. The Lord has promised us a land. He said, I'm old and I'm getting ready to die. And he was talking to the grandchildren of uh, of uh, his brothers, his 12 brothers. Moses was one of the children, one of the grandchildren of the 12 brothers. I don't know which one he was. He was one of the grandchildren. But, you know, they were killing them all. They were killing all the sons. But some of those were still alive because they made sure that they didn't kill them. They, he, he said, kill the first one male coming out of the womb. That's what he was saying. So, um... Moses said, I don't care what y'all do. God has promised us we are a nation of people, the Israelites, and God has promised us a land. And on his dying bed, he said, I'm getting ready to go. He said, but when you all leave this, this little Egypt land here of Pharaoh's, he said, take my dry bones with you. He said, I will be with you. He said, I, I might be dead and gone. He said, but I will see you when you get there. He said, when you get to this new land, I want you to bury me there. <laughs> and that's what Joseph said. He saved his family, his 12 brothers, and they kept having children, having children. This is how the nation of Israel got started. But he told them, he said, I'm your baby brother. He said, but if any, he told them grandchildren, because his brothers had started passing, everybody had started passing at the trail. He said, take these dead dry bones. When y'all get marching out of Egypt and I'm in the casket, he said, take me with you and bury me when, when you get to this new promised land. So it's going to be interesting tonight, guys. Come on at 7. I'm hoping I cannot be asleep at 7. All right, guys, have a good day. I just wanted to try to give you a little follow-up. I will read it all to you, but it's about seven or eight chapters, and it's so much, such a long read. But make sure if you want to take a look at it, it start at the end of Genesis, about Genesis 44, all the way to Genesis 50. So I tried to give you the best little synopsis I could. But uh, it'll be on TV tonight on Channel 7. It's called um, The Ten Commandments. All right, I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.